Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to install mail enable this email server to our Windows 2012 server. This is going to be part of my lab environment for SMTP and the web mail service. I found this software called Mail Enable, which providing a standard edition for free to use, and it's providing a download link. I already downloaded this 42 megabyte software and copied it over to my server here in the server 2012 R2. The installation will require IIS to be configured. It's also require .NET 4.5 to be enabled. As you can see from the setup window, error message says it's worldwide web publishing service not being installed on this computer yet. We need to install that. So let's start with server manager to install this www publishing service. Let's exit setup first. We will wait until we install www publishing service and then we will continue. We can add rules and features. Let's add rules and features. Next, next. Next, going down, there's a web server, IIS, add features, next. There's .NET Framework 3.5 features and .NET 4.5 are gonna be, by default, they're gonna be selected to be installed. Next, next, install. It will take probably four to five minutes to get it down, depending on your computer speed. I'm gonna pause the installation video, recording video, and then we'll continue after this has been done. The installation has been completed for IIS. We can close this, close the server manager, start the installation again. Okay. So there's three components, webmail service, server, web admin service, migration center. Next, default folder, default program group, default folder. So there's a post office name. Can I put the password here? Finished. Mail enable. Post office. Domain name enabled. Properties. To 
to enable this and allow individual pose to be configured. Added a security options under the messaging manager properties. Station security. Enable integrate authentication. That's gonna enable post office to authenticate with Windows credentials. And use integrated Windows authentication. We need to authenticate against the Active Directory. Automatically create the mailbox. Apply. Okay. So let's look at the servers. There's a couple of servers that have been created. SMTP, POP, IMAP, WebAdmin, WebMail. So then we can try to log into WebMail. Me, webmail.local host. Perfect. So we can log in with one of the domain admin user. So perfectly. It's automatically created. The mailbox has been automatically created. This is the one user, let's log out. Now we can create a new email. We're gonna send that to me one. Test one, test one, send. account you can use him at mean one you can see we have two emails the first email we receive is from our administrator at 51 sectest.com that's the basic all settings for this mail enable server it's simple easy and it can be integrated with AD account. It's also free. It's perfect for my lab environment to test in as an TP function. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.